if the uh, elders would join me here on the platform. We were trying to bring um, uh, Jeff Van Dyne, he's on vacation, <clears throat> his family in North Carolina with the sharks. And um, yeah, I asked Jeff if he was bringing a stun gun with him so he could clink in the waters. <clears throat> but uh, we were gonna try to bring them in on FaceTime or Skype and just, um, we're almost there with that technology but not quite there yet. And so, um, um, let me just say one more thing, back to school bash. The list right here for those items are in your bulletin, your handout, so there's your list to, uh, to know what you need to help us with. So <clears throat> I just wanna, we wanna make a special announcement this morning and I just wanna thank all of you that have been um, leaning your hearts and praying for us as an elder board over the last, um, last many weeks in regard to um, our hunt for a new associate pastor. And, um, and we have been praying, we've been leaning our hearts in with Father God on this, uh, this new position and who should fill that position. And uh, we're excited to make that announcement this morning as an elder board, a voting elder board for this family, this church here. And uh, so I think you'll be very excited of who we have chosen. We do, we are looking at someone uh, to take the youth position as well. And that hopefully will come in the next few weeks as we pray about that. But let me just tell you a little bit about this person before we have them um, come up. Um, they have um, been a part of many, many things, just some of their credentials so you know. Um, it has coordinated non um, coordinated non-denominational activities such as locals and national youth conferences and uh, local and national prophetic worship conferences, local and national evangelism conferences, has led evangelistic crusades, uh, has experience in, experience in planning and developing churches, has planted eight non-denominational churches, um, was ordained as a pastor in 2008, is a member of the National League of Youth, um, has license in theological studies um, from the International School of uh, uh, ministry in San Bernardino, California, specifically trained in labors for the end time harvest, uh, 14 years of experience on the pastoral field, worship leader, music, song composer, and arranger, musical director, um, three years of studies in the Latin American Faculty of Theological Studies called FLED out of Florida, and uh, has a bachelor's degree in theology through the Theological Evangel Evangelical Seminary in Montanzas, Cuba. We'd like to uh, introduce your new associate pastor to you, and that's Josue Santiago. <laughs> Wow. Again, I want to just thank all of you for your prayers for us as a board over these last many weeks. Um, I know, and we as a board, one of the deciding factors for us is that um, he already had your heart and you already have his. And that was a really easy, um, so it was a fairly easy decision for us to make. We did interview other candidates. Um, we spent some long hours of praying and discussing this and leaning hearts. And when it all came down, um, we just really felt like Josue was the one um, to come in and serve as your associate pastor. You know, let me just say this. <clears throat> Over the last few months, Josue has been offered um, a church in Miami, Florida. He's been offered a church in Houston, Texas. He's been offered a church in um, Cedar, Cedar Rapids, Iowa. And there's one in Colorado that he was offered, I think their budget's six million dollars a year. The owner of Nike belongs to that church. Josue and Daphne and Leigh would have been very well taken care of in that church family financially. But what Josue would tell me is like, mom, this is our family though here. This is home for us, this is our family, and this is where we have to be. And so um, I really believe that uh, we could have chosen a lot of different people, but we chose someone who, who is a, already a, a member of this family. Um, he's a son of this family, and he's going to be an amazing leader of this family. And so uh, he, we're going to pray for him in just a minute as we install him as the new associate pastor. If you remember when Dad Lake was here the 1st of May, we ordained him. And we did that because Dad Lake was here. And we wanted to make sure that we had the generational connection while while Leif was here. And so um, he asked me, you know, the other day, he says, Mom, can I say something? I'm like, absolutely, son, go for it. So then we're going to pray over him. Okay, I'm nervous. <laughs> uh, 
I'm so glad to be here. I'm so glad to have you like my family. Uh, but I need to tell you this. I think it was the first time that I was preaching. I said, I'm here not to take place, places. I'm here to serve. Uh, that was my heart and is my heart too. So I'm not here to take any places. I'm here to serve. I've been here 10 months serving you, painting, doing some stuff here. Because I love this family, this family. I love you guys. And I need your help. I'm, I'm working my English. It's getting better, but I need your help for for it's, for me, it's not a job. It's not a position. It's, like, it's a function. I would like to serve you like a social pastor, not like your boss or nothing like that. So thank you for, for helping me. And thank you the, for, the, for the board too. I'm nervous. I can, I can still <laughs> talk to you. Leine, would you come up? Vamos aquí. I think um, so that everyone, a lot of us know Leine, but so everyone has a, an idea of, um, yeah, of uh, Josue's amazing wife. Ray and I were able to, yeah, come on. And Daphne. Isn't she gorgeous? <laughs> you want to say something? Not yet. Maybe later, Grand. Um, but we are so blessed and honored, and I have I've had the privilege of observing Leonie uh, for the last um, for about four years since they were married, of being a pastor's wife in Cuba, and she's amazing. She's amazing. I, I've never seen this gal crumble under pressure, and living in Cuba, there's a lot of pressure, trust me. I've seen her come alongside of her husband and uh, love him and serve him and honor him and just do whatever God would call her to do to make sure that he gets to do what he's called to do. But she's also a minister as well. I've watched Leonie minister to people, and she definitely knows the kingdom and releases the kingdom. So it's a great privilege and honor to have both of them now on our leadership team here. And we just want to take and, and gather around them, and, and uh, I'm just going to pass the mic. Anybody who wants to just pray a blessing over there, can you guys, well, let's get over here so Pastor Dave and make sure that we are, give him a, the accessibility and stuff. So anyway, I will start off. <clears throat> Father, we just thank you so much for this precious couple. We thank you, God, that um, this is really a miracle that they're even standing on this platform in this country, Father. Such a miracle, Father. And Lord, I've watched um, Josue's life over the last almost 11 years, and I've watched Lay's over the last um, four and a half years. And Father, they are a man and woman of great integrity. Great integrity, Father. And God, they also have the credentials and the experience to go with God, this position that they're stepping into, God, the responsibility, God, of this amazing position, Father, and that they get to do this, Father. And so, Lord, we just welcome them into another level in this family. And, God, part of our leadership team, God, with, with Pastor Dave, God, with the, the Board of Elders, Father, with our staff and the other amazing leaders that you brought into this family. And I thank you for them, God, and we commit to you to be there for you, to be there for you, your family. And we will be there for you. And we're here to bless you and to help you and to walk you through the challenges and the difficult times that might come your way as you help us walk through the things we walk through. Yes. Yes. Father, I just thank you. I'm reminded of your word where, where you said that you've anointed some to be pastors. And Father, so we take this time and we recognize the gift of a pastor in Josue and in Leonette. Father, we thank you for them. Father, we say as a congregation, we receive that gift today. We receive it. We submit to them. And Father, we ask that you just bless them. Bless them in their service to us. Thank you, Father. Father, 
Father God, we thank you, Lord, for their pure hearts of love for you and being your servants. <laughs> Lord, we're just blessed to have these two young people <laughs> with such a heart for you. Lord, we pray, Father, you'll continue to bless them and their body, mind, souls, and spirit, and financially. Lord, we thank you, Father, for giving them vision for the things that you have them do. We thank you, Father, that they learn and they stay just leaning their hearts to you. And Lord, I remember when they went, we went to Rama, Father, and they told us, well, ministry is work, W-O-R-K. Father, <laughs> you know it's not work when we just lean into you and stay in peace and in rest in you. So, Father, we just ask you to help them stay there while they learn. And, Lord, we just thank you, Father, that, that you just continue to teach them and lead them and show them the things that you want them to do during this time. Thank you, Father. And everybody said amen. Woohoo! Can we just get, stand up and give them an honor offering? <laughs> we love you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Love you guys. Thank you.